Welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be starting a let's play slash walkthrough slash commentary of Dark Souls 2 for the PlayStation 4. And um, yeah, we're going to have some fun. Uh, probably do a full let's play of the, the game. Don't know if I'll manage Perhaps to get to every boss, but I'm sure everyone's seen the intro to this game, so we'll let that, let that go like that. And, um, uh, yes, I'm just starting out on YouTube. Uh, I did have another channel, but only 20 subscribers. It's not a big deal. I'm just starting fresh, you know. And I uh, didn't have that great of content on there. So, there's that. Now, you know, obviously you can go through here and th don't attack those little uh, those little dog things over there. They will kill you, no problem. But if you go through here, here's the first little secret of the area. You can go through here, you, you know, you'd see these and be like, what the heck are these things? And, um, you come up here, yeah, there's the, the giant pig thing. Now you want to be careful. You want to run through, grab the item, and if you can, uh, don't do what I just did. Do not do that. No. Yeah, now I'm just a snack for him. But, uh, yeah, so don't do that. But, yeah, there's that item, then you can just keep running through. Uh, then I'll show you the next secret of the area. There's only two, I believe. Which is going to be something that we can use for later on. That'll be quite handy to get something very good, if we're lucky. Which would be a great axe. And that would be spectacular. So, um, yeah. I don't imagine that I get many views on this video. But if I do, just leave in the comment where you're from and, uh, how your day's going. So here's that, uh, that item you want to grab. Right through here. You're just gonna set of the house. Right here. And uh, that's where you'd be coming out if you went to try and get that ring from the, uh, the big monster, or if you just wanted to get the item. So, um, we want to go through here, obviously. Let's get through that, too. Alright, we're going to go with, um, our name, Muzzy. There we go. <laughs> now, what you're going to want to do for your class, well, what I'd suggest doing if you've played this before, obviously, is Deprived. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just go with Life Ring. Go with Body. You, you can do whatever you'd like for that, you know. Um, I'm doing whatever. But, um,. None of these hairstyles are really that good, if you ask me. They're, they're all quite bad. These are all bad, too. Let's go with the, my color of eyes, which is a bluish-gray beard. Why? Why not? You know, I'm gonna, gonna look old and raggedy. Let's give ourselves. Nah, we don't need a tattoo. There we go. That's that's good. This is all fine. Overall, let's, let's age ourselves a bit. That's fine. Masculine, of course. There we go. That's fine. That'll do it. This is my true self. There we go. So, yes, you're naked. And, uh... Well, I believe there's something over here. You're gonna want to open the door. I, I can't remember exactly. But I believe there is something over here. Maybe not. No, I don't think there is. Never mind. I was wrong. I apologize for wasting time like that. 
and there is a vacuum in the background. I am sorry, any of your ears. So um, you're gonna want to go through here, light the bonfire. You obviously don't really need to um, you know, rest at it. You're already you're already fully healed. Don't even have your Estus yet, so don't worry about that. And you're gonna want to. Well, honestly, you don't you don't need to uh, light the torch. You don't need to light anything over here. It really isn't a big deal. Doesn't doesn't really help you at all. So you can go through here. Make sure you're you're make sure you're dual wielding your hands. It's important to do. It's a little easier to kill things. Just like that. And obviously, that that's obvious. We've already learned that. There we go. He's dead. Got a backstab on him. Nice, nice. Get up. There we go. Alright, get those souls. Good. No, here we go. You don't want, no, it's not even going for the backstab. There we go. Hey, buddy. Alrighty, let's keep going. We're doing all right so far. <laughs> Zero deaths, as they'd say. Yeah, all right. Let's put that dagger on real quick. Make sure you do wielding that too. Just for you know, damage output. It's important there. You know, do a heavy attack where you do wielding, and it'll finish him in two hits half the time. There you go. Oh, oh, I keep, I always forget this. I actually do have some armor, but I'm not gonna use too much. I wanna stay light. I'm gonna go in for a dex build. Don't, don't get angry at me for a dex build either, please. Casual, I know. Those are not doing a sorcerer's build, so. Yeah, thank me. Thank me for that later on. And if you've played this game, you know how overpowered and broken being a sorcerer is, which isn't really fair. It's a little cheap. Yes, alright, so here is where you're going to want to use that small, smooth, and silky stone. And if you're lucky, they might give you something good. Never mind, they did not give me something good. So you want to drop down there, you want to pick that up. That will be handy later on. Now, I honestly don't see use of going in many of these rooms. There's been a, a few random items. They're really not all that useful, to be honest. In fact, it's better just to avoid these rooms completely, if you ask me, because, well... Oh, there we go, so it's gonna be three hits? No, four. Okay, with a heavy attack, okay. There we go, there's that guy down for the count. Oh, and uh, here's where you're gonna wanna run across. Please don't... Oof, okay. That was close, that was close too. Jesus. So you're just going to want to run, there you go, and you'll notice here there's actually a ladder. I'm going to climb up that, because, you know, that might be hard to notice on your way in there. But, uh, yeah, there's this right here. And then you can get these guys down here. So let me see if I actually have some healing items. We do, we do have healing items. Okay. You know, let's just equip that for fun. And, uh, there we go. Right, so you can just drop down, obviously, do a plunge attack. Get out of there, you know. Oh, there we go. Ugh. Don't even need to lock on, really. There's that. Can go down here. Open this door. I don't think, yeah, there's no one in here, but you're gonna crack Red Eye Orb, which I have really no use for, because 
I don't think I'll be doing any invasions. I am online, but I'm not going to need to be doing any invasions or cooperation unless I really get stuck on a boss. And the only boss I've ever been stuck on, don't get mad at me, is the Ruined Sentinels. So, uh, yeah, there's that there. Don't worry about him. Oh, I don't know how loud the vacuum is for you guys, but I am really sorry for your ears. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, I, I apologize for that. Now, don't fall for this, because everybody's an asshole. Don't ever fall for things, unless you know it's an illusory wall, because, uh, well, there's not really too many illusory walls in this game than you'd think. So we can continue our way down here. Nothing really important. Since this isn't that isn't that good. It's just a divine blessing. I haven't really used them. I didn't use them a lot during my first playthrough, to be honest. I used them a lot during my second and third, but never my first. Didn't, didn't really have a need for him, so you go ahead and light the bonfire right here. I think this is a exhaust dialogue over here, but don't join the Covenant. This Covenant makes all enemies deal. I think it's double damage, well, well it's, it's just more. Lots of damage, and uh, you deal less damage, which is no fun. No good. And, uh... Yeah. No thanks, buddy. So don't join that covenant. That's no good. Okay, yeah, we've got this. Just exhaust dialogue. That's really all you gotta do. There's an armor armor shop in there. Dog's barking. I apologize for that. But, um, yeah, you don't want to grab that. It's a life gem. And don't want to go through there right now, that's for sure. But if you, you go over here, you can hit this, and bring up an item. And there are some little buggers over here. Some pigs. I hate these pigs. There's an Estes shirt in there. You really just want to get away from these pigs. They're they're pesky little buggers, and they are a lot stronger than you'd imagine. They have a lot of health, and they do a lot of damage, which is no good. I'm trying to find the lady. I can never remember where she is. Are they following me? They better not be. I don't think they are. Okay, we're good. So anyways, yeah, you just want to look for that lady. I don't remember where she starts out, but, um, look at that view, it's pretty, pretty damn beautiful. It's just kind of cool, you get a glimpse of what's to come, I, I just think that's a very cool idea. So, I don't believe there's any, any items behind there, but look at this, that is pretty dandy. Pretty nifty, you know. Oh god, they did follow me. Okay. Oh, they, they, okay, they are hostile immediately, as you can see. That's no good. Let me just go over here. Second breast. Yeah, okay. Cannot remember where this lady is, though. That's pretty bad. I need him over here. It's been a long time since I've played this to be honest with you, so Yeah, I don't I don't know how rusty I'll be with you, but I'll try my hardest for all of you viewing this, wanting to play this game. And uh yeah. So I believe you have to spend sixteen thousand here and um yeah, and you know, he'll sell the Elite Knight set, which is pretty good. So you definitely want to do that quickly. But uh, 
yeah, just open this up. Good Titanite shard. There you go. Now, the only reason I picked the deprived set is because of the soul vessel we can get. We can really redistribute our points to whatever we'd like. And, well, that's pretty good. You know, that's important to do. And, uh, yeah, we'll just use these. Not to buy anything for him, but when we find the, uh, Emerald Maiden, whatever the hell she's called, we give her all our shit. Oops, pardon my language. I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, that's, Majula Shrine really doesn't have much to it. Now, I will probably end the video after I go start in the next area. There's nothing back there, I presume. Let me just check. No, there's, there shouldn't be anything back here. They're just little piggies, but uh, they're just bothersome. They're really not a big deal. But let me just check. I don't remember there being anything up here. There might be, but I'm not sure. I cannot remember much. Yeah, there is. Okay, just that. Let me get that homeward bone. Okay, there they are. But yeah, as you can see, they just kind of follow you around. They're not a big deal. Really not a big deal. So, um... Yeah. Don't worry about them. I'm about finding that Emerald Maiden. I don't know where, she, where she is. So, um... Yeah. That's gonna be a shame. When I need her. Oh, there she is. There she is. Woo! Hello, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Just exhaust all all that, level up. So, I'm gonna go with Viger, Strength, and Dexterity. Yeah, that was good. I'm gonna wanna upgrade that. Thank you very much. There we go, there's that, and I will continue to the next area at the start. And, um, yeah. There's this item here, rusted coin. Never use those at all. So don't worry about any of these messages. Really not that useful at all. But um <clears throat> yeah, there's nothing really here. You don't have to worry about it right now. Well, yet. Don't worry, we'll get we'll get some bad guys soon. It'll be quick because this thing will drop on your head if you're not fast enough. Like that. And you will die is not too good. So, you can see you can go through here. So you go down here, get this chest. Human effigy, very handy thing. Now, you can just jump, run and jump like that to get to the next item. A lot of people don't make the jump and I don't see why, it's very easy. But you can just keep going through here. Don't worry about that thing, just sneak around him. Really? Then, um... Yeah, you're good. You're home free for now. You know? There's a bonfire right over there. Just bring this guy over. But 
There we go. There's those guys down. And run back over here. No, don't even worry about resting at it. If you've got full health, you, you should be good. So, uh, yeah, just... Tell me in the comments, where are you from? Tell me what you think of the Souls series. Tell me what you like about this game. Personally, I'd much rather Dark Souls 3 over 2 and 1 over 3. But I'll save that story for another day. This game just doesn't have the same feel as, you know, the first one did, but... Still, very good game. I love it. You know, it's... It's a classic. Oh god, I am... Rusty. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so... There's that, there's a life gem. Yeah, I really don't need that. So the bandit's knife is a little bit better, but apparently I can't use it. Hmm? Okay, so yeah, you know what? That's fine. That's really not a big deal. Never mind. Apparently it does, okay, it does not work how I remember it working. Okay. Chug, chug, chug. There we go. Oh god, you want to take him up before he swings? Because he will do quite a bit of damage to you. Okay, that still hit me. So, yeah. Well, I'm gonna end the video right here. We will continue. Oh, before you do, there's an item right here. We can grab that. So, yeah, that's all there is to it right now. Um, tune in next time, and we will continue our journey. Uh, goodbye.